Hi, I'm Brett Swartz, founder of Capital Gains Tax Solutions and also an exclusive trustee for the Deferred Sales Trust. Uh, we're going to cover some uh, significant benefits uh, to electing to use the Deferred Sales Trust when selling your property or capital asset. And these include the first one, which is tax deferral. Uh, when an appreciated property or capital assets um, are sold, capital gains tax on the sale is generally deferred until the seller taxpayer actually receives the payment. So the best way to think about it, let's say you sold a million dollar business and, uh, and you owned it free and clear and you would have paid $400,000 of tax. You can actually put it all into the deferred sales trust. And, and since it's there and you haven't received it, you don't owe tax on it yet. And until you start receiving payments from that or take a big distribution out of the million, you're deferring all of your, all of your tax, okay? So the second benefit is the estate tax benefit. Um, and this may accomplish an estate tax freeze for estate tax purposes. When properly structured, the principal inside the subject installment sales note can be preserved with interest only or partial principal payments, creating the potential to pass a large portion of the note uh, principal to your legal heirs with, with proper estate planning. Okay, so a simple way to put that is if you have a big taxable estate and you're selling a highly appreciated asset and that asset is still inside of your taxable estate, you can now sell and move it into the deferred sales trust. And then when it passes to your kids, they it's no longer inside of your taxable estate. You can move it outside and they they uh, the estate avoids, eliminates the estate tax. Really, really powerful, okay? Uh, the third significant benefit to consider is it maintains family wealth, right? And so not only are you deferring capital gains tax, but saving the estate tax instead of uh, just selling and just depleting a big portion, which is typically 30 to 50% of your gain. Uh, the next thing is the estate liquidity. You know, liquidity I think is very important. And so the deferred sales trust benefit is this. It converts a illiquid asset, okay, to a liquid asset. And it makes it into, you know, monthly payments if you want it. So you might have artwork, you might have collectibles, you might have a high-end primary home, and those aren't producing cash flow. You might have highly appreciated stock. You could even have a highly appreciated uh, real estate and that's it has a very low cash flow. So you can convert an Ill, illiquid asset, move all of the assets, uh, all of the equity into the deferred sales trust and then start receiving payments, right? Which is, is a nice way to get cash flow. Um, and then the ability to liquidate too and, and, and get out whenever you want, right? Versus other assets that could take three, six, 12 months to sell. Uh, another benefit for the deferred sales trust is just retirement income. Uh, this provides a stream of income that can be used as retirement income, right? With the proper proper uh, 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 planning, um, you can set up. And one of the best stories for this is a gentleman who was actually a financial advisor for 35 years. And uh, he was in Southern California. Um, and he wanted to retire. And he was looking at a certain number that he needed to hit. In order to hit that number, though, he's going to have to wait 10 to 15 years to grow his business after tax, what he could do today with the deferred sales trust, okay? And so he was looking at this and he was very skeptical. He, he thought he had seen and heard every single tax deferral strategy out there. Um, and uh, he, but he hadn't, right? And he learned about the deferred sales trust. His wife happened to be a, tre a treasury attorney and he gave that, uh, he gave the deferred sales trust to her. He said, hey, go, go find this out. If this works and is legal, go talk to the people that you know at the IRS and, and, and the people you know uh, at uh, who, who you work with and the government and find out what the track record is and if it's legal. And if you say yes to it, I'll do it. And he said, Brett, in 48 hours, she came back and these two words changed my life and changed my retirement. She came in from, she home from work and she said, it's legit. And, and she says, it works, it's legal. And he, in, in the next 90 days, he sold his practice, and that was over um, 12 years ago, uh, and he is now retired, and he retired 10 to 15 years earlier. So it is a great way to sell your highly appreciated asset and start getting income to live off of for your retirement. The next major benefit is probate probate avoidance. And with proper estate planning, the Deferred Sales Trust um, can, you know, can be put inside of your living trust and it can be passed to your heirs, which is which is also really nice. Uh, the next benefit would be this, eliminates risks associated with ownership. So by using the Deferred Sales Trust or DST, the asset owner takes an asset that is otherwise exposed or, or has liability, uh, is prone to liability, and converts it to a no liability asset, right? So if you own real estate or a business 
or something where there's you know uh, potential liability, right? If you sell that and you move into the deferred sales trust, there's no more liability, right? I mean, there's a liability of the tax that you owe if you receive it, but you're not subject to being sued by anybody um, for the trust. So that's a real, really nice piece of, of eliminating the risk associated with ownership of a, of a highly appreciated asset. Also, um, it does not compete with a charitable remainder trust. Um, with a deferred sales trust, nothing is required to be given away to charity. However, um, uh, it can also, as it happens with the competing with the deferred sales trust, um, you, you, you can have both options. So the deferred sales trust can go to charity or not go to charity. Um, the charitable loan trust, um, is also a way to, is a nice way to defer tax, but you're typically going to be giving a, more away to charity. Also, there's pro portfolio diversification. We think one of the best ways to create and preserve wealth is to have not only liquidity tax deferral, but also diversification. Okay. Um, the DST trustee, which is my role, along with the financial advisors that we work with and with you based upon your risk tolerances and preferences, um, the, the, the funds can be invested into REITs, bonds, stocks, annuities, securities, or other prudent investments such as real estate that are suitable to help assure that as the trustee and as, and, 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 and as, um, as the one helping to uh, manage the trust, um, that it performs and pays you back uh, what it's due. Um, so that's it. Those are some of the major benefits. To learn more about the Deferred Sales Trust and to, to get a customized consultation for you and your sale, you can go to capitalgainstaxsolutions.com. Um, you can also, uh, if you're a business professional, go to experttaxsecrets.com and learn how the Deferred Sales Trust can help you grow your business by helping your clients escape feeling trapped by capital gains tax. Thanks so much for watching this video and please rate, review, and subscribe. We, uh, we appreciate you.